Alright everyone, so uh, welcome to the next challenge in the LRO, which is going to be played on one of the, what is widely considered to be one of the worst games on the NES, Silver Surfer, and unfortunately I have to play this uh, completely unabashedly, ironically, so you're a douche, Stan. Alright, so let's get started. Uh, it's paused. Unpause. Just, just let me skip. Let me skip as fast as you can let me skip it. Oh, oh yay. Story, that's what I wanted. Well, the story, the entire story for the game is two lines of dialogue. I think one sentence. <laughs> Alright, let's make a save state here so that I don't have to reload. Alright, so... Who should I choose? Uh, guy with white hair and weird glasses? Guy who looks like the green giant? Uh, lion person? Godzilla? Or uh, whoever this orange guy is? I don't know. Let's keep pressing the button for a while and with my eyes closed and go into this one. Fire Lord. Okay. So, uh, let's try to guess what the controls are, hopefully... Uh, nope, those aren't the controls. <laughs> well, game over already. <laughs> let's try the arrow keys this time, maybe those were what I was supposed to press. Probably because I set my arrow keys to be the... Okay, circle. Well, where the circle would be if this was a PlayStation controller on the Xbox controller is shoot, and that guy apparently doesn't like to... Shooting that guy doesn't seem to be very effective. Okay. Good for that. Well, now I know where he is this time, so it shouldn't be an issue. Well, you can shoot the hands for some reason. No. I hit a wall. Good for that. Not sure what that power up I got is. Oh, I can, I can shoot much faster than I was doing. It's being kind of lazy apparently. Oh wow, uh, those guys are kind of homing, I think. Oh hey, I start here now. I made it to a checkpoint, even though I swear I wasn't quite that far in the level, but. I'm not going to complain. Oh hey, points. I mean enemies. Oops. Eh, stupid walls. <laughs> Game over. No! The world is doomed! The enemies of whatever this plot is are going to take over or something. We're toast. I'm not even sure why I'm doing that because I already know the hotkey. Let's go clockwise. Uh, this guy. Pro possessor. I thought that said professor at first. I was like, oh, that doesn't sound very evil. <laughs> oh, uh, this is horizontal for some reason. It's sort of like our type. Oh, that thing lets me shoot faster. Cool. Now I get things. Now I understand life. That's a statue. Yeah, forget the top-down level. I think I'll go for this one, thanks. I don't think I'm getting any points for what I'm doing there. Stupid head guys. <laughs> I don't even get it. Why are, why are cannons firing heads at me? Whole things. 
What does this have to do with the possessor? I don't know. Oh, I start in Statue Land already. I think I retained my power up too. I'm not sure, but I think I did. Maybe I can. Yeah, cool. I can shoot the cannon. That helps. Oh. And yeah, I can't hit walls. Got. Well, this stage is much better than the first one. I'm not interested in going back to that first one again anymore. Oh, yay, but I can't actually get in there. Oh, crud. I almost made it out of that, despite putting myself into it like an idiot, but... I get the feeling none of these are like an easy chump stage that would be a bunch of free points. What are you? Can I shoot you? Yes, I can. I'm not sure what that thing up there that just exploded randomly for no reason was, though. Yeah, can't even get in there to shoot that guy because the pillar's like right, like right there. This is probably my last life. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it seems to be that way from the stuff at the bottom. Ah. Oh. Alright, so that's second stage. F7, because that's a thing. It didn't stop becoming a thing on my emulator once I stopped Emperor. Because Emperors are always green. I'm assuming these are actually characters from... Oh, maybe, I don't know. Uh, it's another top-down stage. Which means I'll probably ignore it. Unless it's a lot easier than the first one was. Yeah, I'm not even sure what, what's worth shooting to get points. Looks like everything's going to kill me a lot faster than I can kill it. Ah, case in point. Yeah. I wonder if I can kill those things just by shooting the treads just a little bit to the right of the... Uh, Missiles. Yeah, that works. Well, at least there's something I can get points off of anyway. And now homing missiles. Because the non-homing missiles weren't dangerous enough. Or maybe they just go around in a certain pattern, I don't know. Well, this is certainly better than going better than uh, the other. Oh, I shouldn't say things like that. Jinx is you. I haven't even been looking at my points so far. I don't even know which stages I've gotten the most on. I had another checkpoint though, so that's good. Whoa! Uh, don't. Okay, apparently that's a good thing. It's hard to tell what is good and what is bad, and please don't be a wall. Okay. Visuals in this game are. Whoa! Not very clear. And enemies do all sorts of different things. You kind of... Trial and error sometimes, it seems like. Ugh. Oh, that's stage uh, three. Oh no, I moved it. Dang it, now it's not. Why did I move that? Okay. Here's person number four. Mephisto. Side scroller? Yeah, side scroller. Whoa, things coming out of doors. Ow, that's violent. Stop being violent. Ow. 
Yeah. Well, my strategy of stay at the back the entire time didn't work so well. Yeah, this is definitely a game where I'd have to do a lot of memorization to be able to figure out what the best uh, way of going through this is. Lots of safe state experimentation. You know, those guys come into the doors and they can kill you before you can even kill them. Ah, and those guys jump at you. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty much just looping the same stuff here. At least it's worth a decent amount of points, I guess. Because I'm actually killing stuff around here. Yeah. Everything moves in patterns there, where it's kind of hard to shoot them before they get to the... Okay. Uh, one more to choose from. One more horrible, horrible level. Reptil. Oh good, it's a side scroller again. Fish. They jumping fish. You can shoot those bullets? Would have been good to know earlier. That guy really doesn't die, does he? I had always been just going around the bullets. So I can kill every other fish. Oh. Well, those bullets you can't shoot. Some bullets you can shoot, and some bullets you can't. I mean, yeah, that, that, very good description, me. You can't, you can't shoot some, and you can't shoot the other ones. How am I even supposed to get past that guy? He's just kind of... I guess I gotta hover underneath his bullets and shoot at him, but that's still kind of... Yeah. Then the other guys there. Oh wait, can you go through the pipe with the fish? It's hard to tell what you can go through and what you can't. Oh yeah, you can go inside here. Well, how are you ever supposed? To, what's the point of that top area? You can't possibly get up there. I'll just continue. I'll just stay down here and keep shooting fish. Why don't I? Oh, no more of those guys are coming up. You know, this is actually not too bad so far. Once I got past the hold. Oh gosh, fish coming from behind. That's not very useful for my point counter. Now fish coming from the front. Yeah, this might be my level of choice here. This is much, much nicer than the other ones. Hello, hello, hello. Also, I get this double shot. What, what's with the rubber ducks? Those are seriously a thing? What kind of an enemy is rubber ducks? <laughs> I saw one at the beginning and thought it was a joke, but then again, I guess I shouldn't take anything for a joke in this game. Can I even go through here? Yes, I can. Yeah, pretty much just sit here and keep mashing the fire button. This isn't bad at all, really. Of course, I threw away all my lives except this last one. So, and then I threw away this last one, too, so... I don't know how far that coral extends down. Okay, so yeah, definitely my level of choice. I just gotta go back and take a couple more attempts and 